Hi, everybody. I'm Susan Kimball here in the Portland Press Herald studio with meteorologist Dave Epstein, and we are talking spring. I don't care how cold <laughs> it is out there. That's right. Six below in Hollis this morning. Yeah, it was Yikes. 20 below in Berlin. Uh, meteorological oh. spring is here, though, yeah. and the sun's getting stronger. We're gaining more light right now than at any other time during the year. So the next couple of weeks, we're really pouring the light on. Oh, you got to love that, yeah, right? Absolutely. You got to love that. Except that people are a little concerned with all the snow we've had this year and worried about flooding. That's right. We have a deep snowpack. You know, there's anywhere from six to nine inches of water, depending on where you are in New England, and a lot of that here in Maine. Heaviest concentration of snow down East Maine, where the snow is deepest. Also yeah. up in the mountains, there's still a lot of snowpack. But even in Portland, uh, a lot of snow as well. So it doesn't mean we'll have flooding. The key is how quickly does that disappear? If it were to all disappear overnight, right. we'd pour six, seven inches of water into the ground really quickly. Which is why we should be grateful for these bitter cold temperatures still. That's One right. One reason. That's right. So, uh, you know, over the next couple of days, we'll see temperatures above freezing and we'll slowly start to lose some snow cover. I've looked back, you know, you look at other years with deep March snow cover, 1956, 1993, and the snow cover tends to, if you don't get a lot of rain, diminish it, you know, one to three inches per day and that's kind of what we want we want that slower mm -hmm. rate of melting the other thing I'm hearing people talk a lot about are their gardens they're worried about not so much the heavy snow but the bitter bitter cold temperatures and what impact it'll have so the deep snow has been good because that acts as an insulator so yeah. things that are under the snow even though February was the coldest February since 1934 so aye, aye, aye. it's incredible because you think about many gardens were planted after 1934 so their plants are exposed to the coldest temperatures they've ever been exposed to yep uh, but anything under the snow is protected and won't have a problem if you have plants that you kind of push the limit on maybe they're a zone six plant or even a zone 5b those might have some damage some dieback tip damage and things like that but most things believe it or not will be fine and actually bulbs will probably be very floriferous this spring having been protected by all that snow and they're going to get some good water can't wait to see that finally i know i know thanks dave so You're much welcome. for joining us